I moved from London to Beverly Hills, and I think what it did is it allowed me to dream. Coming over here is so much space and so much texture where you can kind of use this like alchemy, you know, it's the melting pot for creativity. And so for me to bring that British tailoring mixed with that looseness, I thought that was a perfect marriage. I like going to hotels for the atmosphere. It's the people studying, you know, and it's the cultures merging. It's the meeting ground. And so that kind of really always gave me an understanding of the city. When I think of Beverly Hills, I think of like Slim Aarons, an American photographer that captured all of those iconic scenes that you've seen in like Hollywood. For me, seeing those images, they always always the images and the lifestyle that I wanted to create. I define luxury as more about the energy. You, the designer can, you can say or do whatever, but it's how it makes you feel. I think that Beverly Hills informs a sense of fashion in sports because the whole vibe is just dress easy. When I got to Beverly Hills, I modified the shape, really listening to the customer, listening to their lifestyle, and then saying, okay, cool, if this guy's wearing like tracksuits, then how about wear an elegant trouser with an elasticated waistband? And it's just these little details, and that's it, you know? Dress easy. As a fashion designer, what's really important to me is culture. I mean, my dad always said to me that the strong rule the weak and the wise rule the strong. And so it was interesting to kind of have this time this year to really pause and reflect and just really delve into like my ancestry and like African traditions and culture and like finding and earthing like great stories and things that we could look back on. I think now is the time to really kind of do and search for that knowledge and wisdom. I feel that the city is constantly creating, creating, creating new, new uh, ways of storytelling. It's a place that has a facade that you've seen from afar and there's actually a spirit to it. It's sexy and, and to be honest, it's the only place that I can really look at and say, yeah, you know what, this is a place I like to wake up every day.